Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Denise Griffin, and I am the 2023 Board of Governor member representing Region 1. I am also serving as the chair of the Pathways to Industry Conference Committee. It is wonderful to have all of you here participating in this event aimed at learning how to direct our own career paths and apply our technical knowledge. I have the distinct privilege of introducing today's keynote speaker, Tom Coughlin. Thomas Coughlin is an IEEE Life Fellow and the 2023 IEEE President-Elect. As a proud IEEE HKN member, he's set to begin serving as president January 2024. Tom's the founder and president of Coughlin Associates in San Jose, which provides market and technology analysis, as well as data storage, memory technology, and business consulting services. He has more than 40 years of experience in the data storage industry and has been a consultant for over 20 years. He's been granted six patents. Before starting his own company, Tom held leadership positions at Ampex, Micropolis, and SciQuest. He's the author of Digital Storage and Consumer Electronics, The Essential Guide, which is in its second edition. He's a regular contributor on digital storage for the Forbes blog and other news outlets. As a distinguished lecturer for the Consumer Technology Society and IEEE student activities, he's spoken on digital storage and consumer electronics, digital storage and memory for artificial intelligence, and how students can make IEEE their professional home. Thank you, Tom, for being here today to share your wisdom with the next generation of engineering leaders. Thank you very much, Denise. And uh, it is great to be here and uh, uh, to get a chance to talk to uh, young folks. In fact, one of my priorities, um, you know, as next year's president is I want us to engage more with students and our young professionals because you are the next generation and uh, we need you to be part of IEEE for us to stay relevant and to be able to uh, uh, advance technology for the benefit of, of, uh, of mankind. So um, I'll, why don't you get my presentation up here and I'll get started on that. So uh, so I've got a presentation I put together here. Um, last year, Ray Liu, who was the president, was uh, uh, ad, uh, advocating the idea of IEEE as their professional home. I really like that. It's something I've been talking about myself for a while. And so uh, we're going to chat about that. But let's take a look at, see if I can get this working. There it is. Um, first, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the IEEE. Uh, IEEE is a really big organization, has a lot of parts. Um, and I just want to talk to you a bit about, you know, what that organization is that you, that as an IEEE member, you are a part of. Um, then I want to talk about uh, this concept of having a professional home, someplace where you've got a, a community of people and technology that uh, you can do things with and they can help you in your career and how that can work. I'm going to talk a bit about some of those IEEE opportunities that can give you skills and experience that could help your career, um, you know, both in terms of contacts, um, as well as uh, uh, various things that you can, that you can do to in, in, enrich uh, your abilities and learn new skills. And then something, uh, and I'm also going to get into some of uh, personal things in my own career uh, that uh, I think are relevant. And one of these in particular is how do you create a brand? That is um, to be able to stand out so people know about you. They know what you what you're good at, and when they think of some of somebody working with somebody in that area, your name automatically comes to mind. So we're going to talk a bit about that, and that's where we're going to finish up here. So with that, let's let's get started and talk about the IEEE, this big entity, and it is huge. Um, uh, but it started a while back. Uh, so a little bit of history, uh, one of the antecedent organizations that become today's IEEE, which is the American Institute of Electrical Engineers, was founded in October 1884 by people like Alexander Graham Bell, uh, Thomas Edison. Uh, and so uh, that was one of the original organizations. And, and that date in October 1884 is the reason why IEEE celebrates um, IEEE Day in October. In 1912, uh, an organization that was focused on electronics and radio called the Institute of Radio Engineers uh, was founded. So the original uh, AIEE, a lot of that focus was on electric power and lighting and electric power distribution and that sort of thing. And when you got the radio engineers, that was you know radio, electromagnetic uh, waves, um, and also circuits and, uh, and electronics. So in January of 1963, these two organizations came together. They became the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers, known as the IEEE. So just a little bit about our IEEE history, uh, that you are, this is an organization that's been around for a long time. And uh, actually, uh, I, I just, uh, I was at uh, an event, DesignCon in San Jose yesterday, 
And IEEE had a booth there, which I was really glad to see. I think we need to do more outreach to trade shows and, uh, and industry. But uh, there was a one sci- uh, there was a, a couple of pull downs they had. And one of them said that there's 21 Nobel laureates who are IEEE members. And I thought that was pretty cool. So, uh, you know, so we got a lot of cool folks that have been part of this organization. Uh, IEEE today, I think the latest numbers I heard uh, was actually uh, uh, in December of 2022, we had a, over 400,000, over 420,000 members. It varies depending upon, you know, uh, people renewing and that sort of thing. In September numbers uh, was uh, 380,000 people. And of these uh, 66,000 or so were undergraduate students and about uh, 39,000 were graduate student members as of that time. Higher grade members are about 275,000 and membership in societies is about 312,000 people. There's about 807,000 members in the IEEE Standards Association. We'll talk a little bit about these different groups in a bit here. Um, 38% of these IEEE members are in the US uh, and about 62% live outside the US. So IEEE is really an international professional technical organization. In fact, it's the largest professional technical organization in the world. Um, serving the needs of academic folks working in academia and industry and also in government professions uh, and worldwide. And I'm going to go into some of these uh, uh, various things that IEEE does. Now, IEEE sponsors over 200,000 conferences in more than 96 countries annually. By the way, um, IEEE has members in, in over 160 countries worldwide, too. Now, there's 5 million documents in IEEE's Explore Digital Library. There's about 15 million more than 50 million downloads each month of those doc of, from those documents. Uh, IEEE publishes about 200 transactions, journals and magazines, as about 1,076 active standards and 900 plus standards under development. Um, and there's continuing education, uh, technology education resources, for instance, through um, uh, the educa- I- IEEE uh, Education Board. And all, IEEE also is involved in global public policy and uh, professional ethics questions. And we'll, again, we'll get a little bit more on some of these things uh, in these initial slides here. So let's go to the next one. There we go. Uh, IEEE is, uh, has developed from its origins uh, in electrical power, uh, radio, and electronics to cover a lot more topics. You can see some of these listed here. Uh, we have, uh, I think it's something like 42 uh, professional societies and uh, technical councils. Um, uh, that are covering an enormous range of uh, different topics. It, here's some of the things that IEEE is involved in, biomedical engineering, broadcasting, circuits, communication, uh, computer science, control and automation, aerospace defense, cybersecurity, optics, nanotechnology, life science, various information technology, uh, internet of things, industrial systems, um, power and energy, robotics, uh, smart cities, smart grid, sustainable uh, energy and development. Then, uh, by the way, uh, sustainability and uh, climate change is one of uh, President uh, 2023 IEEE President uh, Cypher Rahman's priorities uh, for, for this year. Um, there's an awful lot of things IEEE. It's, if it's technology, we're involved. Um, you know, so we are just have enormous resources. We, uh, we're top, top cited IEEE publications in a lot of fields of interest. You can see some of these here. Uh, eight of the top journals, electrical, electronic engineering, nine of the top 10 in telecommunications, uh, three of the top five in artificial intelligence, automating control, computer science, hardware and architecture, uh, software engineering, cybernetics, and uh, and imaging, for example. So we were a major publisher of engineering, um, uh, engineering literature, and that's uh, both academics-oriented stuff as well as uh, uh, some... Uh, stuff that's focused on practical applications and the use of technology. Uh, what's interesting also is IEEE, uh, uh, apparently I, we're ranked among uh, patent uh, uh, references quoted in patents as the number one organization. We have about three times more citation than any other publisher. You can see the list on the right-hand side here of, of, of comparison. Um, patent references at IEEE apparently have increased a lot over the years, 840, 864,000. 864% since 1997, and we're number one, particularly in AI, blockchain, uh, computing, cybersecurity, Internet of Things, power systems, semiconductors, and telecom. Um, and the importance of literature, uh, scientific and technology literature and patents is rising. 
um, you know, it's in terms of what's the prior art, for example. So, and we're increasingly valuable to people that make patents and patents, of course, are intellectual property uh, that's meant to uh, uh, protect uh, the bill, uh, encourage the ability uh, presentation of new, uh, uh, new products and services to the market and, um, and also to uh, uh, encourage uh, putting in information out there to, to uh, stimulate future developments and interventions. So let's go to the next one here. IEEE is a, 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 one of the preeminent uh, standards organizations in the world. Uh, IEEE standards, for instance, are uh, behind all of the internet, uh, both wired and wireless internet, um, and a lot of other areas too. There's uh, interesting new work going on, for instance, in metaverse, AR, VR, uh, extended reality, uh, a number of other important topics. Uh, sustainability also, there's uh, things going on there. So, uh, and this one has uh, a great interest to in folks in industry, uh, a lot of us on standards. And there's, a, uh, like I say, a number of uh, interesting blockchain, uh, metaverse, uh, AR, VR, extended reality, et cetera, uh, cybersecurity, uh, sustainability. There's a number of standards where there's some interesting things going on. Uh, also, uh, there's special interest groups in IEEE. Uh, Women in Engineering is one of them, IEEE Entrepreneurship, uh, Young Professionals, which as you go from student into being a, a full IEEE member, you'd be considered a young professional in the first 15 years of your, uh, uh, of your, uh, of your work experience. Uh, IEEE Site is a special interest group on humanitarian technologies. And then in the US, you've got IEEE USA, which is involved in public policy. Uh, career and member services, and then of course, Ada Kappa Nu, which uh, you folks are, are part of. Uh, also, there's some interesting activity. Uh, there's a IEEE Future Directions, which I think is one of the more exciting areas in IEEE. Uh, they uh, uh, stimulate uh, work in a bunch of advanced areas that oftentimes will span multiple uh, IEEE societies and technical councils. One of the activities going on in the uh, Future Directions are roadmaps. IEEE took over the base the semiconductor roadmaps uh, a few years ago, and they now uh, make those, uh, including packaging, semiconductor for graphic advances, all these kind of roadmaps in the IRDS. Uh, there's there's a power in engineering. Uh, uh, there's a uh, uh, wide band gap power semiconductors uh, is another roadmap they have. There's an international network generation roadmap. And then heterogeneous integration roadmaps. You go from planar to uh, uh, two, two and a half D and three D sort of uh, uh, electronic packaging structures. What that's going to look like, and when things are going to happen there. So, some exciting things are going to be part of uh, that are part of creating the future um, that IEEE is involved with, with experts uh, from these various areas. IEEE is also involved in public policy, um, uh, both at the national, regional, international levels. Um, for those who are in the U.S., for example, I was president of IEEE USA. IEEE USA has actually lobbyists. Uh, they, it's based in Washington. They actually have lobbyists that talk to Congress. And we have public policy committees uh, of volunteers um, that uh, work on uh, creating uh, public policy statements to inform Congress, most of whom are not technically trained, on technical aspects of things that may be important to them. For instance, uh, IEEE USA was involved in the US CHIPS Act uh, you know, in terms of informing Congress on the value of technology and, uh, uh, you know, where this, uh, the pros and cons of various uh, technical activities of various sorts. So uh, IEEE is, is very involved in this sort of work. Again, that's in the U.S., but also there's a, there's a global uh, public policy committee. Um, and IEEE in general, is ha we have an impact on society. We as technologists, first of all, much of the wealth that's created in the world today is the result of technology. We are the technologists that create the means of, of, uh, of, inst of, of making that wealth, of making money out of something that didn't exist before. And because of the, the cleverness, the application of physical laws um, and, uh, and organizational principles in order to uh, know how to uh, uh, work with nature to make new products and services and, uh, and, and new ways in which people can interact and work with each other. Um, so we're all part of that, uh, and we have a big impact on society. And IEEE is committed to scientific, technical discovery and innovation that proves our standard of living and helps us to care for each other and for our planet. Um, so 
that's a little bit about IEEE just to get things kicked off here. Now I want to talk to you about um, how what IEEE can mean to you. And again, I'm going to a little bit of the, some of this is going to be getting into my own history and my own a path through the IEEE. I'll share some stories about that as you go through. Hopefully this isn't boring. It's going to be, have some interest to you folks. So I think you need to consider um, like your, your home, you know, your family, you know, takes care of you. They care about you. Uh, they encourage you to do things and develop yourself and make, make and to better yourself. A professional home can help you also to stay in track in your career. We are the largest professional technical organization in the world. You saw we have over 420,000 members in 160 countries worldwide. And I'd like to think that IEEE can be a professional home for all technologists um, where they can find people that will help them to develop themselves, to stay relevant, um, to find opportunities, to learn new skills. Because in today's world, you're likely to work for uh, multiple companies, um, you know, so that that uh, it's hard to get that kind of loyalty that existed maybe 50 to 60 years ago where people would work a long time for a single organization. So where do you get that that sense of technical community? And that's where I think IEEE can come in. And making the most of career-oriented resources within IEEE requires that you know about them and use them. So that's what I'm going to talk about here. It's going to give you guys some, uh, give you folks some ideas on what's out there. So technology careers are evolving. Uh, very much more cross-disciplinary activities nowadays. You're going to end up moving uh, from company to company, probably from industry to industry. Things that you once worked on will become obsolete unless they're involved with the fundamental physical laws of the universe. It's going to change. Um, and being able to be agile in your career and to develop skills that help you to, to work with other people and find and exploit opportunities will be important to you. And you won't get that from a single employer. Uh, you may get that from your association of friends, you people you meet, uh, colleagues. But IEEE, I think, can provide resources that can help you with that. So among those things you're gonna need is lifelong learning. You know, it's not just when you graduate from school, you've learned all you need to know. That ain't the way the world works. You're gonna need to be able to continue to keep yourself up to date, find out about new stuff. And by the way, it's also fun. You know, um, I've often, for me, you know, uh, interesting facts about the world around us and uh, ideas about how, how things work it's always stimulated my own imagination. And I triply can provide resources to do that. The score skill, the core skill sets are changing. Um, many of us uh, are on the more introverted side of things. You know, we're we're bookish. You know, not some people are into sports, but not 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 the majority of us. Or you know not uh, you know that wasn't our forte, um, and so we're not as used to interacting with other people, and we need to train ourselves to do that. I triple can give you resources to do that to learn soft skills for listening, um, working, and collaborating with other people to get things done. And also, there's a need besides your in-depth knowledge in a particular area. As you go on your career, it will become increasingly valuable to you to know a little bit about a lot of stuff as well as a lot about uh, a more in-depth area. And uh, these skills can lead new opportunities in higher pay and IEEE can be the, uh, the means by which you can acquire these skills and develop these capabilities. So uh, you're responsible for your own career development. Uh, you know, um, you're gonna have to drive yourself and look for self-improvement. Um, and IEEE has uh, capabilities that can uh, address that career development. We have training, webinars, eBooks, magazines, proceedings, conferences, and other resources. We'll talk a little bit about some of those just to give you an idea. Um, and we can help you develop your personal career support team, people that care about you uh, within the organization. For instance, if you volunteer with people um, to get things done, you can build up uh, connections with folks that can lead to opportunities as they have for me um, down the road that might help you out, or at least, you know, find out about interesting things that are going on and things that may become part of uh, your life path. Because life is what happens to you and you're making other plans. And it's nice to have other people that can watch, have your back, if you will, or uh, can help you out, you know, when you, when, when things are unexpected, things happen out. And a community like the IEEE should be, um, can be a resource for doing that. Um, so IEEE offers a, a sort of a, a career path. You can almost think of it like, a, you know, startup, you know, forming a company. Think of yourself as almost like your, your resource, your product. Uh, things we have, we have things to get uh, uh, 
people involved in their young STEM education. We have Tri Engineering. It's an online uh, resource. We had some Tri Engineering camps. Unfortunately, we tried to do those, uh, got those kicked off during the pandemic. Uh, but it's to get uh, young, uh, younger kids, you know, high school kids, that sort of thing, give them an opportunity uh, to uh, try engineering, you know, do engineering stuff uh, in a summer camp. Uh, various career planning things that within IEEE um, uh, in early January, and it's been going on now for several years, IEEE Region 6, which is the Western United States, has been organizing this with Rising Stars Conference. It's in Las Vegas just before the Consumer Electronics Show. And that uh, is a really interesting event um, talking about uh, career, uh, career development uh, um, as well as interesting technical topics. And uh, actually, people that get involved in things like this, uh, if you engage in IEEE, you get the most value. People going there, um, it's stimulating, it gets people involved in it, and they tend to stay you know, uh, and get the more, more value out of it as the more they get engaged with it. So that's, there's sort of a magic about volunteering um, that can pay back in so many ways, potentially. Now, as you get into your career, uh, there's, uh, again, IEEE can offer resources for learning how to work with other people and doing leadership with other people where none of you are getting paid, which is a real trick. You know, if you can get, if you can get people to do good and interesting things with you, uh, those are skills that can pay off besides being a, in a volunteer can pay off in your career as well. So I triply can help you um, in your career or maybe find out about something that's brand new. Maybe you want to become an entrepreneur, um, work for somebody else, be an entrepreneur. There's, it may even do various of these things during your life, enriching your, your life experience. Um, there's various things that, that I triply is offering in terms of webinars, eBooks, conferences, publications that may help you to figure what's the next phase in your career as you go, go go through your years of activity and then once you've been involved for years think of giving back as a mentor you know in other words working with other people being part of that greater community uh which also by the way as someone who's been you know working for many many years it's it's really engaging to work with younger people they can learn from you in terms of your experiences but also they're working on interesting and cool stuff that didn't exist when you were younger and it gives you an opportunity to tie into that, learn new skills, learn uh, new, new interesting information that can help you to remain more relevant, uh, you know, when you're, uh, you know, as, as you uh, continue your career. So let's see, go to the next one here. So now I'm going to get in particular some IEEE opportunities to help your career and some examples of that. Uh, and that, there's different things for academics and researchers. You've got publications and conferences, societies and councils. And I'm going to keep emphasizing this local section and chapter meetings. That's where most people have their interaction with IEEE. For technologists and industry, we have some magazines that are more practically oriented, um, as well as some conferences. We've got standards, societies and councils, again, and again, local section and chapter meetings where you can get involved in things that, uh, 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 that can have a local impact. And by the way, with some of these remote meetings, they even have an international impact if you're involved in putting on uh, local events that are online and people from all over the world potentially could be part of them. Um, also, uh, people working in government activities, uh, some standards, publication conferences, societies and councils, and again, local section and chapter meetings. And there's a lot of other opportunities that can span across these careers within IEEE um, because it's such a big organization and so many things are happening in it. Um, so here's some particular things, uh, volunteering in general, uh, career development tools, classes, resources to learn soft skills, that is, how to work with other people, how to get things done, how to plan your day, financial planning, things of that sort. Entrepreneurs, uh, consultants network. I've actually been a part of uh, that in the Silicon Valley um, for some time. Uh, there's, IEEE is a large organization. They can get discounts on various products and services. Um, and then getting into these things on branding, opportunities to speak, opportunities to write, and to network with others and create new colleagues, uh, learn new skills, and find out about new stuff. Now let's look in detail at some of these opportunities. So um, I, the IEEE gives you a lot of opportunities to volunteer, and there's so many things at the local uh, section, chapter level, um, in societies, HKN, um, into uh, uh, various uh, site activities, humanitarian activities, various sorts, public policy committees, uh, you name it, there's a lot of uh, uh, possibilities there. And in general, people are always looking for new volunteers. And uh, and by the way, doing these things, uh, 
uh, can and doing uh, volunteering and leadership shows your professionalism goes beyond just what you might do working for an individual organization, but shows your commitment to a broader uh, view of mankind and of your profession. Um, it also gives you important skills and experiences. And again, like I said before, you're collecting friends and colleagues um, in who knows where that may lead down the road. So a local section again is a big resource. Uh, they're always looking for volunteers, for chapter officers, section officers, or a student branch officer even. Um, if you're a graduate student, in fact, you can be an officer um, in a local section. Uh, you can offer yourself a volunteer for various activities. Uh, and the uh, sections have oftentimes had chapters, local affinity groups, such as women in engineering, young professionals. They're always looking for volunteers to help with programs, to be officers, to uh, just get engaged. Um, graduate student, again, uh, to get started, uh, connect with your local IEEE section. Um, find out what they're doing. And if there's something there that interests you, you know, get engaged in some way. And as you spend more time working with other IEEE volunteers, you're gonna learn more skills, more volunteer opportunities will come your way to the extent that you can do this and balance the rest of your life. This can be a real resource. And again, it raises you, uh, the potential here is of raising you up compared to people that don't do these things in the sense that um, you've got a broader experience, you've got these colleagues and connections you've created. Um, but you've also learned new skills and you're, and you're, you're showing that um, um, you've got, you, you basically have a public spirit that you're willing to do things um, that have a greater benefit beyond the immediate uh, economic benefit for yourself. And these things pay back in amazing ways, um, which may be financial, may not be over the course of time. Uh, some volunteer training resources. There's a Center for Leadership Excellence. Uh, there's links here that, that uh, can t teach you about the various uh, IEEE positions, like in chapters and sections, uh, and tell you about what's what what needs to be done. And then if you get involved uh, in uh, IEEE leadership stuff, there's an interesting program called VOLT, Volunteer Leadership Training Program, um, that can teach you about all kinds of stuff about the IEEE and connect you with a whole bunch of other, other people in the IEEE. You get to do projects, um, and it's just generally good learning experience. And of the hundreds, there's a few hundred people now that started, um, I think it was 2013. There's a few hundred people that are graduated from this. And several of these people are in higher level IEEE positions at this time. It's a really interesting program. I actually have participated um, in some of the training on this since it started in 2013. I think it's it, if you do get involved as IEEE volunteer, this could be a good resource for you. Um, volunteering, again, is a way of giving back of, uh, um, and there's humanitarian uh, opportunities here. For instance, uh, there's a humanitarian activities committee, which now is there's a board level, IEEE board level committee uh, that's overseeing all this. They have project events and conferences. They also do local um, uh, site events that are called, uh, and there's a local special interest group for humanitarian activities, uh, activities uh, which uh, are doing humanitarian stuff for your local group, which could be a lot of different possibilities. Uh, career development resources. Uh, IEEE has a learning network. Um, also, there's IEEE ebooks, webinars, and other tools. I'll, I'll go over that briefly. Uh, IEEE USA uh, has a salary survey, a consultants find your resources for employed or at risk members. By the way, the, these ebooks, IEEE USA ebooks, webinars, and other tools are free to IEEE members. There's other things from the Educational Activities Committee, Standards, Technical Societies, and Councils on learning stuff. Uh, there's an IEEE job site entrepreneurship program and consultants network and this discount program. We'll get into uh, into these different things. So the learning network has uh, part of IEEE Education uh, Activities Board. Uh, they've got a lot of classes, online classes uh, that you can take that can help you to become, uh, learn new skills, maybe sharpen up your, your knowledge in, in an area you're already working in or le learn something new. Uh, interesting resource. There also are uh, a set of uh, newer programs which are focused on things like artificial intelligence and other capabilities they call academies um, that are focused on uh, working professionals and providing knowledge, usable knowledge in those areas. Uh, IEEE USA, they have, there's Insight, which uh, uh, online publication that anyone can sign up for. And then they're, they've got a bunch of eBooks free to all IEEE members worldwide. There's, I think it's over 200 uh, plus titles, including a comic book here. In fact, they actually have, they've been working with the Japanese council and there's some manga 
uh, that IEEE USA has on their website, some you know manga comics. Uh, but there's also a lot of other publications, uh, a lot of things on um, uh, career development, leadership skills, uh, financial planning, and other things that may be useful to you. Uh, here's some examples of the IEEE USA webinars. You can see things on uh, uh, leadership, uh, uh, what consultants do, uh, uh, financial planning um, uh, of various types, and then thinking skills, soft skills of various sorts, uh, which can be useful uh, to, to learn. And uh, the site Triple job site is, is interesting. There's uh, this was from last year. Uh, there are over thirteen thousand unique visitors per month, over forty five thousand page views per month. It's used from all over the world. Again, these are these things. If you don't know about it, you know you can't take take use of it. But this may be useful for finding uh, finding jobs and uh, career resources. Uh, the IEEE Entrepreneurship Program. If you want to start your own company, like I did about twenty some years ago, uh, you know. Uh, large or small, uh, this is a group that has uh, interest that tries to encourage IEEE members who want to get involved in that training. Um, and there's even some uh, services that uh, opportunities there that were kind of interesting. A few years ago, actually, Amazon was giving ten thousand uh, dollar web service credits uh, to startups uh, uh, to uh, you know met, met some criteria uh, through the IEEE entrepreneurship program. So that's not currently there, but Things like this come in and happen, which uh, can be uh, interesting opportunities. And again, a value in being part of an organization like IEEE. Um, I've been involved as a consultant for over 20 years now. Uh, I've been on the board and last year I was the chair of the Consultants Network Silicon Valley. Uh, this is one of uh, consultants networks uh, throughout the US, but actually there's a few internationally too. There's a few in India, for example. Uh, the Consultants Network Silicon Valley has a website. They have a page like uh, on the right-hand side where their members can put up uh, information about their services and capabilities so people can find out about that. Uh, there are all are in, inquiries on consulting gigs and that sort of thing that come through a network like this that uh, then the members find out about. So it can be these can be useful resources as well. And uh, IEEE has a discount program. It's a large organization, so they can get uh, 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 reduced prices on some products, services, software, insurance of various sorts, uh, vision health cares. Uh, these can be useful to you. When I first got started, it was around 2000 or so, uh, you know, doing my own company, um, actually was uh, doing health care for my family. And at that time, IEEE in the U.S. had a health care plan that was actually cheaper than the COBRA. Uh, that I would have had to use otherwise, and more than paid for the membership at that time. So uh, interesting op potential opportunities here that, again, if you don't know about it, uh, you can't take advantage of it, and some of these things might be useful to you. Now I want to get into a final part of my talk here, which is using IEEE resources um, to help you with your career and to establish yourself and establish your reputation. That is to create your brand. Because... Um, you're going to need ways to stand out for people to think about you. And that's often called branding. Everyone needs to think of themselves as creating a brand. I've got a brand, it's me. Um, to let people, other people know what you do and that you're good at what you do, that you're, you're fair, um, that you've got good ethical principles, and, uh, and you do good work. And IEEE can provide ways uh, to build that brand. Uh, for instance, uh, there's a lot of opportunities to talk. And I've done that. Uh, uh, you can write. There's a lot of IEEE publications, magazines, local stuff that you can get involved in, learn learn writing skills, uh, working on IEEE committees to uh, get experience uh, and also have people know about your knowledge base and the things that, that you do is make that happen. Uh, that could even include standards. Uh, general network and IEEE events is another great way to, to create that brand. Um, in terms of examples, opportunities for speaking, and this is where I'm going to get into some of my own personal stuff here. You can see a couple of talks over the last few years that I've been um, involved in, uh, some virtual, like the one at the top there, um, and some that were physical. That was, I think, 2019 uh, at the CES Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Uh, try to develop talks about things you know, you know, and and learn the skills of being able to speak. For instance, um, uh, when I was younger, my uh, dad got me into uh, Toastmasters, so I was uh, uh, involved in that, uh, but giving opportunities to give a talk, uh, speaking events, Webinars and podcast opportunities can be valuable. Um, also writing, I actually wrote a book, I uh, think that was mentioned in the introduction, Digital Story to Consumer Electronics. Uh, and, uh, the, but there's opportunities to write for journals, articles for magazines, 
um, writing blogs, uh, and find, again, ways to improve your writing and speaking skills uh, will help you out in your career. Uh, some final things, uh, networking and collaboration, of course, important. That's part of the one of the biggest values in IEEE. It's led to, co I have colleagues all over the world. I've got some uh, opportunities of work because I know those people, they knew me. Um, it's been one of the biggest benefits to me, you know, uh, some uh, in terms of uh, working opportunities, but also just in terms of knowing interesting people all over the world. It enriches you, I think, to be able to do that. Finally, some uh, last words. Uh, as you develop in your skills and experience, consider being a mentor for others, help give back um, and help other people because a professional home should be a place where we do care for each other. We try to create a community of people to uh, uh, advance our profession and to do good things for uh, the world and each other. Uh, and IEEE gives you opportunities to create wealth, find new opportunities and make a real difference. So uh, be sure that uh, uh, as you develop yourself, you can develop the next generation as well play some role in doing that. And with that, um, I can take a few questions, I think, before I have to get off to my next uh, my next meeting. Thank you very much. Hi, Tom, it's Nancy Yostin, the director of IDP. Hey, Nancy. Avenue. How are you doing? Great, great presentation. It's always, it always amazes me to learn all this stuff that happens in IEEE, right? And, um, and I've I know, been but... for like 11 years and I learn something new every day. So thank you so much. So I Sylvia, uh, you know, there's a question up here that put up about um, how did you find your niche when you first got involved with such a large organization like IEEE? Well, my own personal experience, uh, first of all, I got, I actually joined IEEE to get a discount uh, going to an IEEE conference back in the late 70s. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was my, and that was as a graduate student. Um, but uh, I, so uh, when I f started to get engaged, um, sort of the series of stuff that I did that led to what I'm doing now, um, it was uh, with the local section. At that time, I was mm -hmm. living in in, the, in Silicon Valley mm -hmm. and getting involved with the local magnetic society chapter because I was working on magnetic recording. And uh, you know, uh, volunteered to be an officer uh, and ended up being, you know, elected as an officer and eventually was chair of that particular group. That got me into the uh, section stuff. And then the uh, folks wanted to know if I wanted to get involved in the section things. And I got to be treasurer and then this, uh, um, you know, the uh, uh, vice chair and then the chair of the local section. One thing leads to another, you know, once uh, folks find <laughs> out about you and that you're, you know, that you, you, you can do things and and, the, and you're generally hospitable with other folks, you know, then they want to get you to do more and more stuff. So, Oh, that's true. A good volunteer is really hard to find. And we all are grateful when we do all of the different groups in IEEE. And there's another question about here about your favorite memory or story about being an IEEE member or volunteer. Boy, there's too many of them. You know, it's like I've been to events in other parts of the world, places mm -hmm. I've never been to before because, uh, because of things I was doing in IEEE uh meeting people from different cultures and learning about you know the things that they're interested in and do and how they use technology a bit different than we do mm -hmm. there's just too many of i i could go on you know yeah i know I, there's probably, I think i i know i meet the most interesting people right I, yeah. I just and sometimes i really geek out because you know you meet <laughs> the people that have created things that um that just impact our lives every day you know like you know yeah. knowing, like, i met len kleinrock and vince surf mm -hmm. That, yeah, know, likewise. Yeah, you know, yeah, it, you know Steve they, Wozniak, they invented you know. the internet, or yeah. you know, the guy that invented GPS technology, or the you know, yep. the, digital cameras. You know, uh, it's you know. it's just amazing. Uh, we have we have the gentleman; he's at a cap, a new member as well, that created the Arbitron rating system. For those of mm -hmm. us who are old enough to remember, that's how they used to judge how many people were watching television. That's right. Yeah, those kinds yes. of things. So we've got a mm -hmm. member who's got an Emmy and a. And, yeah, and a bunch of other technical awards. So really, really kind of cool stuff. So I think there are too many. I think I try, people say, join, uh, join IEEE, see the world. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn has a question here. Lynn, IEEE as a student member, particularly now, is an enormous value. There, there's a 50% off discount of being a student member. Um, so I would say join now. And trying to find out about this organization because it's huge. It's like this big, unwieldy animal that's doing all kinds of different things. Um, 
try to find out all these all the stuff that's going on and, and the more you get engaged in it the more you can get out of it mm -hmm. so don't wait yeah I, I, agree. I always talk to people it's like a <laughs> bank account right if you uh -huh. have a bank account you can make those draws as long as you've made deposits that's right so getting involved <laughs> volunteering um attending showing up Mm -hmm. uh, meeting people, it's all about making deposits in that in your bank account that you can withdraw from later. Mm -hmm. because, when you, you know, need some is, help, yeah. When you need, you some, need help, some help, you, something. you got people that that care about you, you know, and, and might help you out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never. I, I've worked for a lot of places, and I've never met as many caring people that are willing to give back, especially to students. Mm -hmm. When I reach out and ask people to help students, boy, it's, it's usually not a uh, not a problem. <laughs> And you always, Tom, you always jump in and say that. Ah, John Lennon's song, Life's What Happens, you make, Busy Making Other Plans. Mm -hmm. um, because that's what's happened to me. You know, I thought I was going to do one thing and end up doing something else. Um, and that's going to be true one way or another in all of our lives. You know, mm -hmm. the personal things could change, circumstances. Mm -hmm. um, something may happen that gets you down. Like, you know, you thought you were doing real well in a job and then you get laid off. You know, I've had things like that happen to me and um, having um, other folks that you're engaged with besides in your work and, and, and in addition to your family, your family is important too, but I think it really helps you out in terms of getting through some of those rough spots, you know, giving resources and, and colleagues and friends, and maybe folks that can encourage other people that can encourage you to keep going mm -hmm. and to get stuff done and that you are worthwhile and you were a great investment by your parents and the rest of the mm -hmm. society, mm -hmm. you know, so. Well, I also tell students as well, because, you know, sometimes your university does a really good job helping you get your first job. Mm -hmm. you know, your mm -hmm. first job, you know, they're doing a lot of job placement. But mm -hmm. it's a second, third, fourth, fifth job that you network yourself into. And, yep. um, you know, it's not like you're plugging your computer into another computer, but you are. Uh, being able to meet with people that can give you lots of career advice, maybe direction of where you might be able to go, introduce you to people that might be able to hire you. So I think it's it's that um, career advancement. We're talking about a lot of that here too during yeah, this conference. Yeah. Is just not just getting a job; it's second, third, fifth, tenth job. Yes, um, which will side. often happen to you. Yes, <laughs> well, often, as you said, things happen and things, yeah. things change and things like that. So, um, so Tom, you were inducted into Kappa Nu a couple of years ago. So, what was it like to become Eta Kappa Nu? Um, that was kind of fun, you know. So, I, uh, I actually my my bachelor degree was in physics, so I did. Mm -hmm. I was not a member as a, mm -hmm. as an undergraduate, uh, and uh, it, so it was a uh, what do you call that? The professional. Professional member. Uh, mm -hmm. Professional member, yeah. And it was pretty cool, you know. Um, you know, I was never into, uh, you know, fraternities, you know, that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. When I was when I was in college, uh, actually I actually stayed at a place called the Students Co-op, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, in Minneapolis. But uh, uh, but it was an interesting experience. I really liked the people I've met, including you, Nancy, and various <laughs> other folks. And so uh, it's because uh, we're not a fraternity at all, right? <laughs> not not really. Nah. No, no, not at all. I mean, again, yeah. it's just. Yeah. Learned organizations at the turn of the last century, which is when we were founded in 1904, mm -hmm. had Greek names. It's just yes. what, what yeah. happened. So yeah. it's just um, it kind of signified a learned organization like a yeah. Phi Beta Kappa when you're in high school mm -hmm. and things like that. So um, that's all. Oh, and Sylvia came up with a great question here. Did you see the question about the mentor? That's probably the last one I could do, unfortunately. Yep, and yeah, yeah. Uh, running out so, of time. See that. You, you know, IEEE actually has a mentorship um I don't know the link, but they actually have a thing where people can volunteer as mentors and, and mentees. I've signed up there. I never got anyone getting a hold of me to be a mentor there. But uh, over the years, I've had people that I've worked with through IEEE who have helped me to uh, to develop myself and help me to understand things in you know ways that, uh, that I didn't know at the time. So, um, you know, there are ways maybe you can formally try to do mentorship. A lot of mentorship is just stuff that happens, you know, and it may not even, it may, it may be a regular thing. You get a, like an association that connects with somebody and you meet with them on a regular basis, which is really cool if you can do it. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it's more, less formal than that too. So yeah, I, I know some of the technical societies have uh, mentorship programs. I know Power, uh, mm -hmm. Power and Energy does um, mm -hmm. a few other ones, but and, and Ed Kappa New has one. So if you're Ed Kappa New member, there is a, for graduate students, there is an alumni graduate mentoring program yeah. that we have. So they're really yeah. great. Um, well, thank you, Nancy. Yeah, yeah, really cool stuff. Uh, what do you recommend to new members? 
And then I'm probably gonna have to head off though because I got another yeah. call. Okay. So well, yeah, we're gonna let you go. Thanks so much, Tom. Yeah. Thank you for I know being IEEE, even president elect is really busy. We know next year you'll be swamped. So we'll make sure we try to get an invitation into you early to come to something at a cafe new. In I'm always glad to support Ada Kappa. Uh, you, you've been a tremendous supporter throughout the years. Um, you always answer the call when we reach out to you. And I know you really uh, value and appreciate students. So thank mm -hmm. you yep. for that. They are, they are our next generation. You know, mm -hmm. We want more of you to be part of us. Yeah, we do. We need, <laughs> we need them to take the leadership roles. Well, coming up next in this Pathways to Industry event um, in just about uh, uh, 15 minutes is going to be our recruitment fair. It's going to be over in... If you go into the main area, you go into the expo hall and you'll be able to join us um, and go meet with some recruiters. Uh, lots of great people there that want to talk to you. The resume book's been sent out for those of you that registered. And we give this opportunity to live talk to people in their booths as well as register interest. So we'll hope you go ahead and take advantage of that and jump over to the expo at this moment. And then we have a few more sessions this afternoon um, about how to find and rock your internship or early career. And then a really um, great session, too, on amplifying your online presence and building confidence, credibility, and career. So, uh, yeah, it's more to come today. A full day, of course, again tomorrow. And we're really delighted to have you here with us at IEEE at a Cap New for our Pathways to Industry program. Thank you to Denise, our chair, and uh, to Tom Coughlin, who uh, joined us today on the, on the main stage. And uh, we look forward to seeing you around the conference. Please drop by and say hi. Use the networking feature. Say hi and connect with us. Have a good afternoon, evening, morning.